Hey everyone, it is me Catherine and welcome to my kitchen. Here is another wonderful side dish for your Thanksgiving meal. Um, may not be everybody's favorite, but it sure is one of mine. We are going to work on a sweet potato casserole. Um, ahead of time, I got our sweet potatoes ready. So what I did was you want to get about four large sweet potatoes, pierce them all over with a fork, making those nice holes, put them on a baking pan, throw them in your oven at about 400 degrees, and bake them for about 45 minutes. Um, I have since then taken them out, allowed them to cool, hopefully cooled enough, and what we are going to do is we are going to clean them and take that skin off. And we're going to put the, they call it flesh, that seems awfully weird to me, we just put the inside of the sweet potato here in this bowl. Easy enough to peel right off so we know it has in fact baked long enough for us. All right, so I've got my nicely peeled sweet potatoes in here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and look at my recipe and know that it is time to mash them. Uh, this is a wonderful uh, masher that my mom got me. Um, kind of a different version than the traditional metal wired masher. Funny thing is though, she got me some for Christmas several years ago. And she told me, man, these are her new favorite thing. I've got to have them. And coincidentally, since then, she has bought me two other ones, forgetting that she had bought me the previous ones. And I smile and I say, Mom, don't you remember I have one? But it's okay, I'll take it. It's a different color. I have used all of those mashers before, so never say no to another masher. But I have got these sweet potatoes nicely mashed, looking pretty good for me. What I want to do next is add in some of my wet ingredients. So those wet ingredients are going to include, but not limited to, two eggs, We're going to go ahead and add in our milk, which is going to be one cup. I'm going to go with this. Half. And one. This is another thing that my wonderful mother has gotten for me, is a set of gingerbread measuring cups, which if you can tell, gingerbread has seen better days. So the other wet ingredients we want to add other than our milk and our eggs are going to be our maple syrup. We want a half a cup of maple syrup. That was almost an impossible to open maple syrup. Uh, pure maple syrup we're going to fill up. We want half a cup of maple syrup. Very good. There is nothing like fresh maple syrup. And then we want vanilla. So our vanilla, we're gonna put one teaspoon. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix that all together. Using our masher, just mixing it up nice and easy. What I want to throw in next, after I've kind of incorporated this nicely, is going to be my kind of dry ingredients. So I want some salt and I want some nutmeg, something for some spice. So my salt is going to be just a little bit and we're going to add one teaspoon. Maybe one 
teaspoon. Boom, perfect. One teaspoon, and then my nutmeg is going to be much less amount. It is going to be just one eighth. So just a little touch. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I've got a hungry dog searching for some scraps in here. She realized she wasn't gonna get anything, so now she's gone. All right, I've got some beautifully mashed up sweet potato casserole. So this is going to be my filling. So I'm gonna put that into my pan here. Just gonna nicely dump that right in. And the thing is, I always like to make sure I get every last drop, but I don't have a spatula. Husband, would you mind handing me that purple spatula? This smells very good. I love the smell of sweet potatoes. It reminds me of the Texas Roadhouse. That is a kind of our special not super fancy but want to go out to dinner type of spots and i always get the sweet potato with my meal so sweet potato casserole is in here but what is a sweet potato without any toppings so we got to make some toppings and what i want to start with is one of the toppings is going to be marshmallows i don't have to do anything with that except for buy a bag of marshmallows what i do have to make is my kind of pecan streusel crumble topping so what I want to do first is grab my bowl, right here it is, and I'm going to go ahead and put in a fourth cup of flour. I want to put in three tablespoons of butter, and I am going to go ahead and melt this, so be right back. So as that is melting, I can go ahead and add in my brown sugar. I want a half a cup of brown sugar. Half a cup. I want a half a cup of chopped pecans. So you can put them in a bag, hit them with a hammer, I'm gonna go the easy route today and use my mini chopper. So I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, I want half a cup. Put my cans in there. And that seems like plenty. Oh, now I gotta be able to get it off. And you don't want to mash them up too much because you don't want them to be dust, but I like mine in small pieces. Mainly because I'm not a giant nut fan, and it'd be better if I didn't know they were there. So, small pieces, but not too small. Just enough to get a little crunch. So, those get added into my mixture. The microwave reminded me I got butter in there, so let me grab that. I'm going to mix that into here. Grabbing that spatula, we can reuse it. I apologize, my workspace is a mess, but that's the life of home baking. Things are going to get messy, and it is all for the best baked goods. So I'm just going to mix up this topping here real quick. And as it's mixing up, I'm going to do what I love to do. Get my hands dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. In fact, um, so for my wedding, I did make my own cake and it was the day of my wedding. I sent a picture to my mom and mother, soon to be mother to be, and it was of my engagement ring covered in icing. It had so much gunk on it. We had to clean it quickly before the ceremony and that's just part of the fun though, getting your hands dirty. 
The way we want to decorate our sweet potatoes is not with marshmallows yet because they would get way too done. We want to just put our crumble on at the moment. But I know exactly how I want it to look. I'm going to do it in diagonal strips, so I want to leave spaces to put in the marshmallow. So I'm going to grab some of my filling here and just start putting it on top. So I've got some here. I want to leave a gap. I want to put some more. A little bit more up here in the top corner. And I've got just a little bit of strudel left, so I'm going to come back on my first two and add a little bit more. And now this is ready to go into my oven. Now it's going to go in at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And at 30 minutes, we're going to pull it out, put our marshmallows on, put our marshmallows on. So why don't I put this in the oven? And I see you guys in about a half hour. So it's been about a half hour on our sweet potato casserole. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that is looking pretty. All right, so with that half hour passed, what we're gonna do next is add our marshmallows. Now, if you follow the recipe, it says to add about a cup and a half of mini marshmallows. What I'm gonna do is just add as much marshmallows as looks good. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice I've got those empty lines on my casserole from where my nice crumble is not on. So I'm going to just fill in those gaps right there. And being very careful because this is very hot. Perfect to me. Mm. Never hurts to add a little extra there. I'm going to want to fill in this line right here. marshmallows perfectly put on top. Yeah, they're pretty nicely put on top. What I'm going to do next is leave this in for 10 minutes, but I'm going to keep an eye on it so that the marshmallows don't get too brown. That's what I'm looking for. I want that nice toasted look to those marshmallows. So I'm going to put 10 minutes on the timer. I'm going to put these marshmallows in my mouth. I'll see you in 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes on our marshmallow covered sweet potato casserole. So let's take a peek and see if it's ready to come out. That is, it has puffed up, that is for sure. So we've got a nice light browning to our marshmallow. Our crumble still looks delicious. Let's go ahead and take this out. And always remember when you're done baking, cooking, anything, make sure to turn off that oven. And now this is way too hot to test right now. So why don't we let this cool down a little bit and we'll try it in a few. Time for my favorite, the taste test. And I want to try some of the marshmallow. I want to try some of the strudel, streusel, nice crumbly topping. And I want to try some of the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to go for this corner right here. Does that not look amazing? Oh, that is so good. That is really good. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. This is the first time I've tried this. I acted like I knew how to make it. This is the first time I tried this casserole. Oh my gosh, that's great. Usually I just mash up sweet potatoes, throw some stuff on it, call it a day. So glad I made this this year. Can't wait for my family to try it. I would love to say can't wait for my husband to try it, but he doesn't eat sweet potatoes. So that's
that's okay because there's more for me. Um, please go home and go in your kitchen and try this recipe. Uh, get out of mine.